The fact is, the big, the big points, I think, are that, are this, that the Zapruder film shows that Connolly reacts. Um, That's the next thing I wanted to, you with, to touch within, on. It's, this is subjective, and I, I, I'm a, an honest guy. I'm going to tell you, my view is that Connolly shows a grimace, a visible, physical oh, reaction. It's very pain. physical within about half a second, a 0.6 of a second to be precise. Yeah, yeah. I, I, would, yeah, I don't even know if it's that long. I mean, it, it's almost immediate when you see like this right here and you see the lapel go out. And, I, and I'm sure you remember in the London trial, Dr. Weck admitted, he said it would have to be within a fraction of a second. And yeah. um, uh, Billy Elsie got him. So he said, so they're looking at their stopwatch and they're aiming and they're shooting at the president. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, he got him there. I mean, and I, yeah, I mean, I guess it's possible, but that you're talking about they have to be firing right on top of each other. Yeah. So if you look at the, the film in real time at normal speed, which I think you have to do um, to get a, a, a better impression, um, then they're reacting almost simultaneously. Now, when you look at the individual frames, I think the mind can play tricks on you because you, you're almost thinking like each frame is a second, so to speak. And so you look at JFK, he's coming out from behind the sign, he's got his arms started to go up at um, ZZ224. Um, and then you're looking at the Zapruder frames that follow at 25, 26, 27, 28. And you're looking at, at Connolly and you're asking yourself, is he reacting? And you could argue he doesn't show a sign of a reaction until uh, 18 frames later, like a full second later, but it's still only a second or a fraction of a second. And we, we all know from our reading, and those of you who have been in the forces like yourself, that, you know, a reaction is not always absolutely instantaneous. It depends where you're hit. Kennedy's, uh, you know, spinal column was bruised by the shockwave. So his reaction was almost instantaneous. Right. So, you know, Connolly's hit in the lung and there's a decrease in the pressure. Uh, there, there's all kinds of stuff going on around that without getting into detail. So he's going to react pretty quickly. And he does. I mean, he, he's starting to react within, in my opinion, about, less, about half a second. Definitely within a second and a half. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, and I agree. The, the real key thing is that... Um, to address this notion that, and that there's almost a sort of a comical um, aspect to it, with all due respect to the, the, what happened, Connolly maintains that he he heard the shot, and he's assumed that Kennedy's hit by that shot, and he's turning round to look. You know, he goes left, then right, and he can't see the president, so he's turning round and he's facing the front when he himself is hit. And he describes it being like a double fist uh, action on his back, doesn't he? And um, so if you look at the Zapruder film, when what he's describing about turning to try and see the president, and he describes it very accurately because you can see him doing that in the film. Right. Kennedy is happily waving and smiling. Mm -hmm. So he's obviously not being shot. And Connolly must have known that because he must have watched the film and he must have seen the frames. And yet he stood by his wife, who was sure that Kennedy had been shot by the first shot, even though you can't tell from the Zapruder film if she could have seen him out of her peripheral vision, as in JFK. She might have been able to. But she formed the view that Kennedy was shot first by the first shot and Connolly was shot second and yet the reality of course is that um kennedy was not shot uh, by that that first bullet that was fired and missed so if he was shot by another bullet um to Connolly, they both had to occur just right before they appear to come out from behind that sign two shots hitting almost simultaneously um and uh, yeah. given the, the witness the ear witness information um that's not what people say happened 